Hey everyone, welcome back to another video by Amazing Absolutely Fabulous Artwork. Okay, here is the details in today's painting. Uh, I kind of already showed you a still of it, and I will show you guys how to make it. It's pretty cool looking. All right, stay tuned. If you like this video please subscribe make sure you click the bell so you know what's coming okay these are the products that we use in today's painting and this is the epoxy I'll put links to everything in the description below and also check out my website because it's a little bit more organized that way you can uh, see everything you know I like that better sometimes when I watch the other YouTube videos and I see the links I'm like what is this so if you check out my website and you go there you can see stuff in a more organized fashion Okay, cool, here we go. Okay, so right now I'm just uh, popping bubbles with the good old uh, propane torch and kind of just getting it, you know, all the bubbles out of it. That's what I'm doing there. And these are the uh, High G Life products and also some fluid acrylic paints from Golden. I really like the fluid acrylics mixed in the resin. I think they work pretty good. Uh, you'll notice in this video when I put the blue and the turquoise down, for the actual paint, it'll look more solid than what these pigments do. And then I just go ahead and I blend everything with a uh, hair dryer, and then I go over top of it with a heat gun. The heat really helps create the cells and bring the cells out in the resin. So with those cool effects that I showed you in the beginning, that's how you get them. Uh, just thought I'd share that with you guys. Right there, I'm putting the paint on the edge, and then I'll put the orange paint right over here on the edge it doesn't take a whole lot of paint you know and uh when you mix the golden fluid acrylics i would say you don't need a whole lot of them uh, just kind of mix in enough you know stay under the 10 percent ratio for resin but when you mix in the golden acrylic fluid paints uh you know just check your check your uh wood stick to make sure to see if it looks you know translucent if you can see through it or if it looks opaque enough so right here, I wanted it opaque. I wanted the edges super bright. Okay, all right. And then I'm just kind of blending and putting stuff where I want to at. You can still see the black base underneath of it. And what I kind of do is I just go where my eyes look like things need to be at. And I kind of cover it up, you know, if I've blended it too much. Uh, and then also I just go where my eyes see stuff and where it looks good to me. So with teal and orange and brown, it's it's a really good color palette that goes together pretty well. And yeah, I'll quit rambling, guys. <laughs> If you notice in here too, like on the edges where the pigments go over top of it at, it just kind of sits right there and it floats, you know, that's a kind of a cool thing about paint. It will uh, sink to the bottom sometimes if you put it on first and you can get stuff to, you know, stay right on top of it. Uh, okay, yep. <laughs> uh, in the last video I did with the uh, round, you know, with the uh, copper in it and the blue and the black and everything, uh, most of those products were from like Australia, you know, from Art Tree Creations. Everything in this uh, painting right here is stuff you can get off of Amazon, you know. Um, and if you need like a, uh, a heat gun, I've got that listed on my website. I've got the uh, hair dryer that I use listed on my website, the torch, cups, you know, everything you need. Um, you just go there and take a look at it. And if you want to buy them through there, great. If you don't, you know, if you have them already, great too. Uh, but yeah, I just put that on there for everybody, kind of make it easy. So there you go.
Okay, so this thing's pretty much done. And then just a little tip that I like to share, you know, after you get done popping the bubbles, uh, you'll have to come back in, you know, about every 15 minutes to pop bubbles. Just try not to get it too hot, like where you push stuff everywhere. And then this one, you know, I did make a mistake on it. it really wasn't level. Uh, you'll see in the pictures after this and kind of stuff kind of moved a little bit. So it doesn't look exactly how it looks right here. Um, but I was okay with it. I'm like, man, that looks pretty cool anyways. So yeah, and just uh, like I said, make sure you scrape the bottom and go around that, get all the resin off so you have you know less drips if you're gonna finish it up real nice on the back. And there you go. Okay, here's another little video of the details again for you guys. So I was honestly really impressed with these uh, High G Life product pigments. I thought that they uh, did a pretty good job and they look pretty good right here in the painting. So let me know what you guys think. All right, I will talk to you guys here in a little bit. Okay, so uh, this video is pretty much over. Here's another uh, finished picture of the painting so you guys can look at it. And if you guys like this video, what I'm saying, please like and subscribe. I'll put my social media stuff down there too if you want to follow me. Okay, bye-bye.